Supply Chain Strategic Fit and Drivers of Supply Chain Performance. A supply chain strategy must be defined such that it fits with the competitive strategy of a company. So a competitive strategy is at the top here and it has to it, it determines, right? It affects what the supply chain strategy is. Uh, if you want, for example, to have Walmart, maybe your strategy is uh, to be extremely competitive on prices and have good availability of the products in uh, locations that are maybe uh, large locations far away from customers, right? There will be a different supply chain strategy focusing on the lowest cost. If you are 7-Eleven and you want uh, small locations with very few products, but the ones that the customers need, Right? Your competitive strategy is very different. You compete on uh, responsiveness and uh, your prices may be higher because of this, but the customers might be willing to pay them. So your supply chain strategy will also be defined accordingly right? and there will be, uh, this will be a very different strategy. And we have to recognize that different products require different supply chains. At, uh, we define two extremes on the uh, scale we say functional products require efficient supply chain. So, right, a lot of products that uh, you buy frequently and there is lots of different variants of them, right, these products require efficient supply chains because the goal is mainly to provide good availability without charging too high prices. This is where Walmart excels, right? Innovative products require responsive supply chains. If you have products that... Uh, are uh, using cutting edge technology that were just released or you know are released and then uh, the new version is released one year later these uh, require responsive supply chain so we have a certain spectrum to choose between efficiency and responsiveness and it doesn't mean that each product should be on this extreme or on this extreme you can design supply chains that are somewhere in between focusing more on efficiency or more on responsiveness and it is in fact the main trade-off in supply chain structure and design and this uh, structure is affected by six drivers of supply chains right so you can make your supply chain more efficient or more responsive through playing with these six drivers facilities inventory transportation these are called logistical drivers and information sourcing and pricing these are called cross-functional drivers so here these drivers are the six drivers of supply chain performance are defined in more detail facilities is about the physical locations in the supply chain network where product will be stored or assembled or fabricated right so this is all the locations you choose where you build a factory you choose where you have a warehouse uh, right uh, so you, these locations renting them purchasing them uh, outfitting them uh, buying equipment this is the facility driver Inventory is decisions on all raw materials, work in progress, and finished goods within the supply chain. Where will they be stored? In what quantities? How much of it? How much of the inventory will be there? And the third one, transportation, is about how we move inventory from one point to another, through what modes, how do we uh, organize it, do we outsource it, or do we have internal transportation um, capacity? The cross-functional drivers are information, right? Often uh, processing information or getting the right information uh, might affect our decisions and create a lot of uh, cost savings or performance improvements. Sourcing is about deciding who will perform a particular supply chain activity. Right? We might do our own manufacturing or we might outsource manufacturing and just to design. We might do transportation, we might be vertically integrated, have manufacturing, distribution and retail. Or we might uh, decide to just focus on manufacturing and have distribution and retail done by other companies. And the last uh, driver is pricing, how much to charge for goods or services that we make available in the supply chain. And again, this is a critical decision to um, profitability. So I hope you see why, why do we call these six drivers? Why do we, are they so important for supply chain performance? 
Well, we, we call them drivers because they are the very expensive or very high impact decisions on supply chain performance. I hope you can easily recognize that facilities is a very expensive investment. Inventory or transportation can create a lot of cost or save a lot on cost if we do them right. Information has a potential to improve tremendously the supply chain. If we, if we have the right information, we might produce the right product and not focus on the variance, let's say, configurations of the product that are less required. So, for example, demand information is very important and may improve uh, our performance tremendously. And also sourcing is an important decision and pricing for the same reason. They may dramatically affect uh, the profitability or the performance of supply chains.